to compare between two masses. Oh my god, Amina, I'm so tired. Do you have anything to eat? Maybe like a sweet like chocolate maybe? Uh, yes, I do have chocolate. It's in my time, so let's go. Science teacher, maybe you can help us. All right, melted chocolate. It definitely needs to be cooled. Let's see. So now we're going to put this chocolate in the fridge. We need to cool it down in order to make it solid again and eat it. But we're going to wait for a couple of times. Um, Zena, don't you think it's time? Yeah, let's try. We can definitely eat it. Hey guys, welcome in. Welcome to the science lab. Now, we are going to investigate why solids like chocolate melt. Come on with me. All right guys, we are going to check two solids. And we're going to see how they're melting. Number one, butter. And number two, Alright, so let's keep in mind that these two are solids. Once we add heat to the solids, once we make them hot, they're going to change. So let's see. Alright, so guys, after we have put this butter on the hot plate, it melted. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the freezer. So let's see what's going to happen. It is liquid. What is it going to be now? going up this is so cool guys i'm telling you so interesting like whoa <laughs> the water is boiling it's hot enough to turn into a gas cold water vapor this is so cool if we were to check the temperature that we can see here is evaporation. During evaporation, the liquid water that's in here, when it's becoming so hot, it will start turning into a gas. And this gas is called water vapor. All right, so guys, now we're going to do a trick. I'm gonna get this hot cloth, okay? So I'll be able to carry this. And now the trick is about making this hot water vapor that's coming out come and hit this where we're going to put an ice cube. Let's see. Hello. 
We've got some really cute ice cubes here. All right, so now the way we're going to get these ice cubes, like they are in a bag. Look at how cool these are. Okay, so now we're going to put it here and I'm gonna show you what's happening inside. The hot water vapor that's coming out, it's hitting this surface. Let's see what's down here. Guys, look at this side. Look how the hot water vapor became liquid again once it became cold. That's called condensation. As the hot water vapor is coming out and it's hitting this cold surface, this ice right here is melting. <laughs> All right, so we have come to the last part of our video, the experiment. For this experiment, we're going to need two thermometers, a ball of clay, ice, and a little container. Let's start. All right, so basically for this experiment, we're going to check the temperatures of both in the beginning and then warm them to see how their temperature is going to change. So what do you think? Is it going to become more or less? Will it increase or decrease? Let's see. So let's check the temperature of the ice. Okay, so now I want you to focus on the thermometer, focus on this red line and see how fast it's dropping down as it measures the very cold freezing temperature of the ice. It is eight degrees because it was after this. Next, we're going to check the temperature of the clay. So now I got the clay ball here and I'm going to put the thermometer. All right, so basically it surrounds 23. So it's 23 degrees Celsius. Let's see after we warm both how the temperature is going to change. Let's see. Now for the process of heating and warming up these both, what we're going to do for the bell of clay, we're going to use our hand as a warmer. So we can play with it. Guys, you could see that after we make it warm, it will become much softer. Nice. Now that we have made it warm, let's check its temperature. Well, before we check, do you think it's going to increase or decrease? Let's see. We get the thermometer. Guys, it became almost 30. Guys, it's increased. So when we made it warmer, the temperature increased. Now, it is about 31 degrees Celsius. Interesting. Guys, we're going to put the ice cube in a sunny place. Let's see what's going to happen. Come on. So guys, we're going to put the ice cube here in the sun. Watch it as it melts. And then in like a minute, we're going to measure the temperature using our thermometer. Do you think the temperature is going to increase or decrease? All right, guys, so let's see. Now we're going to check it. It was less than 10. What's the temperature now? The temperature of the ice cube is 12. 12 degrees Celsius. So it increased. It won't stop.